me say I'm the biggest hater. I hate the way that you walk, the way that you I talk. I hate the way that you dress. I hate the way that you sneak this. If I catch flight, it's gonna be so good. If you follow me on Twitter, you knew this was coming. So I was just browsing YouTube to see what I could talk about. Just chilling, vibing, had a G feel right next to me because I'm a real gamer. And that's when I stumbled upon this video. <laughs> Ethan is online, should log off. Obesity crisis. <laughs> now I am very excited to be reacting to this with y'all. I do consider myself to be a top tier Ethan hater. And uh, I've never heard of this YouTuber before. Shout out to Big Bungie for making this video. It will be linked below in case you guys want to see it all. With that said, let the Ethan is online hate session begin. You know, there's always been an unfair balance when it comes to online politics entertainment. On the right, you've got these crazy guys doing crazy things and shooting guns and creeping. Ah! And then on the left, it's just pedophile, 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 pedophile. You know what? This person, pedophile, pedophile. fuck that person. And this person too but i do agree with them i think both sides are extremely toxic i think they're mirroring each other and this is not a surprise to anyone that i've been very open about this i am not interested in politics at all i simply don't care I have better things to do like reacting to content or like making my own content that's what when people like ethan is online and other retards out there say sensitive is pushing a right-wing agenda sensitive is a right-wing youtuber it's like it doesn't make any sense been extremely burned out from politics for so many years the less i hear of them the better and no it's not because i'm shutting the world off and i live in my little bubble i just have no interest in that okay i don't want to argue with someone on twitter about why i'm right and why they're wrong you know what i think of myself as just this dude who doesn't have any political bias i'm just doing my own thing making silly videos for entertainment and having a good time great start by the way <laughs> It's just some smug prick talking about something they don't even know about. When my guy talks about something he doesn't know about, he's screaming with fury. Your guy's just a son biker. Thank you. They haven't got Alex Jones reacting to his own court loss, making funny noises and faces. Sixty million dollars. Yeah. Mm. Emotional distress damages, past and future. Mm. Sixty million dollars. So this brings us to my little guy, my my little fella. Ethan is online. This guy is not unique. There's like five hundred of his exact dude. They get built somewhere in LA. They got the same politics, the same IQ, the same smugness. But you know what they've not got? They've not got his blood cholesterol percentage. They've not got his BMI score, and you can't take that away from him. You put your finger in his mouth. Put your finger in his mouth right now. You're not getting that back. You're not getting that back, and I tell you that right now. He has a hunger that they don't have. And that's why he's got 250,000 subscribers off his shit takes. I fucking hate politics, I swear to God. We were deprived of a great mukbanger. You know what, in another universe, we might have had Nick Avocado and Ethan is online collabing. Eating chicken nuggets. One of Ethan's best videos, you're wrong about modern art. This video is 40 minutes of some smug cunt explaining how you're not intelligent enough to understand the genius of this. This video itself is performance art representing a man drowning. Ethan is an all art is political fucker. There's a political component, right? All art is inherently political, either in its influences, messages, or implications. I absolutely hate this video. And this is one of the worst videos he's ever done. And trust me, there's a lot. <laughs> it's so wrong. And if I'm not mistaken, I did make a video about this a few months ago. And on top of that, just how pretentious this guy was being, well, every piece of art Art is political and if you don't agree with me on that you're a big get you're a right winger transphobic homophobic queer phobic women hater youtuber it's like if you ever criticize anyone like them now they think oh you're just toxic and you don't agree with me because of my politics oh, this has nothing to do with that i'm not the one who was bullying gay autistic people for fun unlike ethan which he's done and it seems like he had a great time doing it ethan used to be a bully and now he plays the victim every now and then i'm being harassed I'm the one being bullied when in reality Ethan is the big bully he's been in middle school he likes to be little people insult their looks make fun of them meanwhile we got a brother that looks like this insulting your IQ how could anyone take that seriously now I'm sure behind the scenes Ethan is a really sweet caring boy who helps his grandma 
you know, with her grocery shopping twice a week. I'm sure he's a sweet young man, but online, he's the most annoying, pretentious douchebag I have ever seen. The Los Angeles County Museum of Art just offers us a rock. More deceptive language, more lying by omission. We all know Michelangelo and his classic rock. It's actually called Levitated Mass, if you even care. Oh my God, I forgot how pretentious this video was. Um, actually, this is its real name, if you care. That gave me the biggest fucking nerd emoji vibes. <laughs> Technically, guys, it's not just um the rock. It actually has a name. Really cool. It's not just a rock that you look at like other sculptures. It's a sculpture that you walk under. This is like the world's first fucking discovered homosexual caveman. <laughs> Mate, you're gonna lose your fucking shit when I show you a bridge. Levitating mass is built to stand exactly like that for thousands of years. That's longer than David's statue is gonna be around, so... So Big Rock is better than David because it will be around for long. On top of me being a professional hater, I just hate how pretentious Ethan is. I fucking hate pretentious douchebags that think they're better than you because they have X thing or because they went to an art school because they know a lot about art shut the fuck up you don't know anything are you a professional no you're just a fucking youtuber i'm gonna end this video by telling you about one of my favorite art pieces at first glance it's just a fan in a room but the description reads soon after the death of his lover steven arabino from aids los angeles conceptual artist boscovich discovered that arabino's family had completely cleared out his apartment including the artist's possessions save for the electric box van in this work an entire person existence and relationship had been erased, like so many were during the AIDS crisis. Boscovich encased the fan in plexiglass as a kind of evidence and created cutouts to allow its circulated air to escape and be felt by the viewer, almost like an exhalation. In a sense, restoring Arabino's breath. At least as a facsimile in memoriam, Boscovich makes a tender, broken-hearted gesture towards some form of eternal life. Mate, that is a fucking air conditioner. <laughs> That is a fucking air conditioner with a sign next to it reading AIDS was here. That is a fucking household appliance. That is not art. What else was in that museum? Fucking Bill Cosby's air fryer? The plaque reads, date rapist Bill Cosby fried his rice and spaghetti here. It represents his hunger for sexual abuse. When Ethan was giving his speech, I was just like, holy shit, these art people, quote unquote art, because Ethan is not a real one, but these Fake felony art guys are so fucking annoying. You can literally make an example out of anything. Fucking Obama could die holding a phone and people would be like, before your eyes, lace true art. The last thing Obama was holding was freedom and his reach and influence throughout the years. And it's like, because the phone connects us to the world and social media and international freedom usa red white and blue america obama represents america it's like obama died holding his phone dude you need to make this big deal out of it oh, this guy is also literally incapable of talking about anything without attaching political meaning to it he's also so anti-right wing that he literally refuses to agree with any opinion regardless of how normal or positive that he thinks a right winger could also possess he bases his entire existence on being a contrarian to the point where he will defend some quite weird shit just to try and own the chuds and when we're talking about a man who said that anti-pedophilia was highly conservative in nature. The predator, hunter, anti-pedophile dog whistles are extremely right-wing in nature. As if it was like a bad thing. Like, why, why would you write that into a scripted video? Boggles the fucking mind. There was another time where he accidentally proved that the gays were more likely to end up on the sex offender registry, but he flourished this as if he'd proved the opposite because he doesn't understand what per capita is. The source that I found on this is a UCLA Williams Institute study on demographics of people in sex offender registries all across the United States. They had to survey people on the sex offender registry to even get the data. So right from the top, basics. 80% of the people in this registry are straight. <laughs> yeah, that's the smartest Ethan is online moment. Yeah, I don't know how anyone could ever take ethan seriously i mean this guy's just the biggest goofball brother it's just not cut for youtube okay you see the gays were doing the good sexual misconduct and the straights were doing the bad one so like that's the law he also brings up one pedo priest and uses that to claim that all catholics and conservatives are pedophiles because because of course all christians are conservatives that's that's how it works that's the law it's no news that the catholic church is full of creepy freaks but all of these conservatives 
all say the same shit about gay people. John Roach was a Catholic archbishop in the Twin Cities from the 70s until the 90s. It is pretty extensively documented how much of a pedophile defender uh, Archbishop John Roach was. He literally had the sexual assaulter of multiple boys. What, so what was that, sorry? Uh, that so, who, so who did he abuse? Multiple boys. Multiple boys. Multiple boys. Was it really that hard to find a fucking straight Catholic pedophile? He could only find a gay one? Why even bring this up as a fucking point if he tried to disprove <laughs> the gay group? I don't really believe in anything. I don't swing one way or another when it comes to religion. And despite me being born a Catholic, I love my, you know, pastor is a pedophile joke. Ethan just goes about it in such a special and unique way. That really doesn't make your argument look that good, but whatever works for you. I want to let everybody know that I hate literally everybody involved with this, including the victims. So we got Tweedledum and Tweedlespick, the golem, venereal disease, gay, gay, and fuck. Gay. A simple summation of the entire situation is that Ethan's girlfriend is an OnlyFans. Right, all right. <laughs> Jesus fucking God. Oh my God. I'm gonna have to censor this shit. I don't even know if this is a lot. You know, despite this girl being a fucking moron and a cloud chaser, using this picture is crazy. Due to the process of time, is quickly losing her career. She was banging some super mega artist and decided to accuse him of rape a fair few months after sucking the dude off. Second is Don holding Lex in his arms. Lex replied, strange woman fresh from the ocean. This woman has a type. She was also a jobless neat who was scrounging money from super mega and was put up by them for six months until they told her to get a fucking job and kicked her out after she had turned down an offer of $10,000 to spend on an apartment. At this point, she decides to make a video explaining how Super Mega had covered up her fake rape and forced her into crippling homelessness. And then they word stuff like, I have to feel like I owe them something. I don't owe them anything. They weren't charging me rent. They said I could stay there. You know, if he didn't like me there, he could have done a lot of different things. He could have just opened his mouth. This group is how you know that this woman is a cunt. There was some of a shit going on, like an e-haw morgue pie getting used for her body. Nick apologized for the video, even kicked him off the band. Literally, they had a band called Queef Far Ash Shit or something. Pineapple upside down, yeah, in the toilet, I make a brown, yeah. These guys are both facing 30. One of them is facing 30 fucking kilotons. When Super Mega <laughs> were using subs, Ethan went on stream with the Super Mega subscriber count in the corner, whilst him and the rape victims smoke weed whilst giggling and pulling up a response video bingo table, trying to predict what they'll say in their response. As it turns out, the response was just to totally disprove the allegations. So a little bit awkward in hindsight, it's probably why I deleted it, I'd assume. Now, in case you guys want to see the full video, I'm going to be, once again, linking it down below. I don't really have that much to say besides Ethan got cooked. It feels like every day there's a new video exposing Ethan for something dumb. I'm always there for it. But with that said, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe, like, share, and I'll see you next time. All right, peace out.